After Shandy Blackburn was brutally murdered on February 9, 2013, police seized a Toyota Hilux belonging to her ex-boyfriend, key suspect John Peros. The car was taken to the Mackay Police Station for exhaustive forensic testing. Three weeks after Shandy's death, police officers Jessica Murphy and Andre Stevens saw a man walking across police property behind the police station where police cars were parked. It was John Peros, and Constable Murphy told him it was an offence to trespass on police premises. Constable Murphy said that John Peros told her, I'm just looking around. John Peros was charged by homicide unit detectives over Shandy's murder in 2014, and he was acquitted by a jury after a Supreme Court trial in Mackay in 2017. But back in 2013, when John Peros's car was in police custody, police scientific experts had identified 12 areas of the car, which they said tested presumptively positive to blood. However, the Queensland Health-run Forensics Laboratory was unable to obtain any DNA evidence from the car. The Shandy Story podcast has uncovered evidence of serious problems in DNA testing by the official laboratory in Queensland, resulting in Mackay Magistrate David O'Connell reopening the coronial investigation. John Peros has always emphatically denied that he murdered Shandy. <laughs>